<laughs> Remember this waltz? Yes. Cafe Royale. A little table under a lilac tree. <laughs> you do remember. Two people very much in love, planning their tomorrow. Their tomorrow that never came. <laughs> Funny, isn't it, how the music brings it all back? Every word, every thought, every look. Oh, darling. Hold me closer. Tell me it isn't a dream. Tell me you've really come back. Yes, I've come back. I, Eric Rapinoe. They'll hear you. Everyone's looking this way. <laughs> I can't see them. I don't even know they exist. All I know is I'm back, and you're in my arms, and we're alive again. Let's dance out in the terrace, the two of us together. Just like the Royale? Yes. There might even be a lilac tree. What out there? Why not? I don't know. Well, here we are. Shall we go out? Yes. It's almost sunrise. Not a soul out here but us. No, not a soul. What's the matter, dear? Uh, nothing, darling. Eric, Eric, those shadows in the courtyard there against the wall. Probably lilac. No, trees. look, look, they're soldiers. Are they? No, you're just imagining. Oh, Eric, you shouldn't have come here. We must be mad, both of us. You could be walking down those stairs and facing a firing squad if anyone knew. I think of that now. Because no. we're fools, risking your life for one wall. It's the best gamble I ever made. One well, mustn't anymore, darling. Why not? We always took chances, didn't we? That's what made life so thrilling. Paris, London, Budapest, Cairo. Wherever we were, we took chances. And we always knew that someday there'd be a blindfold, a cigarette, and a firing squad. Stop it, Eric. Don't say any more. I'm sorry, Eric. Oh, Eric, what are we doing? We're out of our heads. But, oh, it's so wonderful to be together. Everything's wonderful. Look, even the sky is glorious. <laughs> even dawn is just beginning to break. Yes, uh, we, we'd better go back. Go back? Where? Well, you, your husband, and I... You know I can't do that. I married him because I thought you were dead. He knows that, too. You told him? I told him I'd been in love once, but I could never love anyone again. He wanted me anyway, and... But why well, talk of what's past? It's tomorrow we must think about. Tomorrow? Yes. It's almost sunrise now. Well, today, then. We'll go to Motra by the lake. Remember, darling, that's the place I always wanted for our honeymoon. Yes. We won't let anyone keep us away from it now. No. There won't be any more secret missions, no, no last-minute orders to keep us apart. No, darling. Just you and I. In the tiny cottage with the lake. Yes. Vilma. Oh, there you are, my dear. I've been looking for you. I'm so sorry I didn't realize. Oh, August, may I present Monsieur? I believe I know. Eric Rappenard. General? Oh, Almost sunrise, Monsieur Rappenard. Yes, General, I know. Thank you, Madame, for your kindness. Good night. Au revoir. Good night, Madame. Now, my dear, shall we go in? Uh, yes. Tell me, what did you think of Monsieur Rappenard? Oh. A very good dancer. What else? He seemed a perfect gentleman. What else is there? Aren't you curious? I don't understand. Didn't he tell you? No. What are you trying to say? Well, my dear, Monsieur Rapinard has just paid us a very original compliment. Really? Yes. As you know, Eric Rapinard, besides being a, a gentleman, happens to be a very dangerous spy. He was to be shot this morning. And as his last request, he asked for one waltz with the most beautiful woman in all Europe. I could hardly refuse, could I? <coughs> shall we shall we dance, my dear? Of the innumerable glorious melodies that Jerome Kern has given to the world, Mr. Kern's own favorite is Old Man River, which, like the lyrics of the song itself, seems destined to just keep rolling on forever. Tony Martin sings this old showboat favorite for you, friends of Maxwell House. Doggies all work on the Mississippi. Doggies all work.
work while the white folks play. Calling those boats from the dawn to sunset, getting no rest till the judgment day. Don't look up and don't look down. You don't just make the white folks frown. Bend your knee and bow your head and pull that rope until you're dead. Let me go away from the Mississippi. Let me go away from the white man boss. Show me that stream called the River Jordan. That's the old stream that I long to cross. Old Man River, that old man river, he must know something, but don't say nothing. He just keeps rolling, he just keeps rolling. He don't plant cotton, and them that plant them is soon forgotten. But old man river, he just keeps rolling along. You and me, we sweat and strain, body all aching and rack with pain. Don't that march. Get a little drunk when you land in jail. I'll get weary and sick of crying. I'm tired of living and fear of dying. But old grandmother, he just keeps rolling. Bob, Bob, how would you like me to help me make a test? I'd be glad to, Warren. What's the idea? Well, I want to demonstrate to every woman listening in how she can be sure of getting her money's worth when she buys coffee. Well, how are you going to do that? First, smell this unopened can of Maxwell House coffee. Okay. Can't smell a thing. Well, now, smell this package of coffee. Mm-hmm. Mmm, mm, it smells great. Sure it does. But that's flavor you'll never get in the cup. You see... The reason coffee flavor escapes is because the container the coffee is packed in isn't airtight. Scientific tests reveal that coffee, whether ground or in the whole bean, starts to lose flavor the moment it's roasted. In fact, ground coffee packed in ordinary containers where air can get at it loses as much as 45% of its flavor, nearly half, in only nine days. But with Maxwell House, the coffee is taken fresh and fragrant from the roasting oven and packed in a super vacuum can from which all air is first removed. Then this famous blue super vacuum can is sealed under vacuum to keep the air out. Thus, no air can get in, no flavor can get out. So Maxwell House comes to you not just days fresh, but roaster fresh. Try the new and improved Maxwell House. Not only has the blend now been further enriched, but due to the radiant roast process, which roasts each bean all the way through, you'll get ever so much more of the true flavor of the coffee. You'll find it far richer, smoother, and more delicious than ever before. Ask your grocer for the new and improved Maxwell House in the familiar blue super vacuum can, the one way known to science to keep coffee truly fresh. <laughs> As a form of parlor entertainment, much in favor during the holidays, anything to do with quiz or puzzles is a game that everybody plays. If you're really in the mood for riddles, here's a question I would like to raise. What makes the world go round? The breezes blow, the roses grow, the crickets crick and the dogs bow wow. The clock's tick, tick, and the cat's meow. I know, uh, Mr. Young, I know. Oh, quiet. No time singing. <clears throat> oh, is that what it is? 
What makes the world go round? The rivers flow, the roosters crow, the whistles blow, and the cowbells ring. It may be snowing, but you think it's spring. I know, Miss Young. I know. Why, yes. It's all because you want somebody's favor, and life becomes the horse of a different flavor. Meredith? What makes the world go round? Why, melodies, Bob, and fine harmonies. A stirring march or a minor strain. Some happy song or a love refrain. Mr. Wilson, I know. Quiet, Snooks. Why? Frank, what makes the world go round? Why, perhaps a good smoke or a little joke. <laughs> and, of course, a lovely lady, a pretty face, a table for two in some quiet place. Wow! <laughs> How about you, Bob Taylor? Well, I'll take my ranch, a horse to ride, my boots and my hunting gun, a nice big campfire beneath the sky. <laughs> That's my idea of fun. Tony, what makes the world go round? Well, Bob, a song to sing or a tune to swing, a fine arrangement or maybe a good part to play, Maxwell House Coffee and Alice Faye. <laughs> that makes it, Mr. Martin. I know. Oh, Snooks, will you please be quiet? Oh, what are you crying for? You won't let me say what I know, and I know what makes the world go round. All right, Snooks. What makes the world go round? Well, being kind to Christmas time and giving to the poor. Like I learned at Sunday school, live by the golden rule, love your mommy and daddy, and be good to all your friends. Peace on earth, goodwill to men. <laughs> you see? I know. Uh, Meredith, excuse me a moment. I, I think we ought to take a hint from Snooks and wish all our friends a Merry Christmas. Well, I'd like to wish them all a Merry Christmas, too. And so would I. You count me in on that. What about you, Rita? Well, I certainly would like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Uh, beg pardon, Bob, but uh, right about here, don't you think it would be a nice thing if everybody wished our friends a Merry Christmas? <laughs> oh. Meredith, where have you been? That's what we've been talking about, but uh, we don't know how to do it. Well, why don't you sing it? No, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> All right, everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. Here goes. Merry Christmas, everyone, from us to you. Ladies and gentlemen, be with us next Thursday and tell your friends about our big New Year's show. Wallace Beery and Robert Taylor and Mervyn Leroy's new MGM thrilling and exciting drama, Stand Up and Fight. We'll also have with us charming Florence Rice, Douglas McPhail, Fanny Bright, Hanley Stafford, Frank Morgan, Meredith Wilson, and Robert Young. A special guest will be NBC's sports announcer and commentator of news of the day, Bill Stern. Take it, Bob Young. There's one Christmas treat you can give your family. Take them to see MGM's brand new picture, Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. They will never stop thanking you for taking them. And now, speaking for the Metro Golden Mayor Studios and our entire good news staff, may I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Echoing the thoughts of every true American who participated in the celebration of Rededication Day, the very best we can wish for you is that this Christmas and every Christmas finds you happier and even more proud that you are an American living in America. Merry Christmas and good night. Now this is Warren Hull saying good night and wishing each and every one a very Merry Christmas for Maxwell House, the coffee that's always good to the last drop. This is a national broadcasting company. K.L. K.L.